And good morning, YouTube. It's Christine, Gage Girl Training, and I'm gonna show you guys a full day of eating. I'm gonna be prepping some food. So, let's get started. We're starting with coffee. So I have this huge mug and I brewed eight ounces of coffee in my Keurig. I'm using right now salted coconut. I found this at TJ Maxx and it just tastes so good. So I have a weird way I've been making my coffee lately, guys. So I have eight ounces of coffee here and I've been using my collagen peptides from Gage Life Nutrition Supplements. So, this is my new company, by the way, you guys, and you can also check out my other supplements. So, I have whey protein, vanilla, unflavored, we got some chocolate whey, I'll show you guys what I do with that stuff later. So, I've been starting with a scoop of the collagen that I'm putting in my coffee. Now, collagen is fantastic, and it's been a game changer for me because it doesn't have any flavor, any taste, and I'm getting 20 grams of protein right here in my coffee. It's good for your hair, your skin, your gut health. It's a good source of protein, and like I said, I've just been taking it easy with... I, my appetite like doesn't wake up until like later as you guys will see and it's a really nice way to get some protein points it dissolves pretty easily in coffee stirring it again guys the nice thing about this is it doesn't add any taste or flavor so so I have this like strange method for making my coffee lately, so don't judge. All right, so now, now that I got that in there, you can see there's a lot of room, and I did that on purpose because I boiled hot water, and I've been taking my coffee just kind of like dilute. That may sound a little weird. It's almost like a really strong like tea because I've been skipping the cream in my coffee because that diluent effect and I don't want the extra calories right now so I've just been cutting my coffee with hot water but you guys can see like it's completely dissolved and if you guys want to check this out you guys can go to gagelife.com all right guys so now that the coffee's out the way it is time to do fasted cardio so I'm fortunate enough to have a home gym. Pardon the darkness for a second here. I'm gonna get my workout in here at home and I'm gonna watch some movies while I do so. All right guys, breakfast time. So I love to make these like egg white fried rice things for breakfast. So I got my liquid egg whites. I'm obsessed with hot dogs right now. I like cut them up and like fry them, you'll see in a second. So I got some hot dogs, egg whites. I have my Trader Joe's brown rice. There's frozen baggies in here, which just makes my life so easy, convenient. And I got some asparagus. I might throw some spinach in here too, but just stay to watch how I make it.
Alright guys, so this is my egg white fried rice with hot dogs. <laughs> this is beef hot dogs. So delicious. This is my first meal. It's going to keep me nice and full and satisfied. Oh, and full disclosure, I'm dressing it up with a little bit of Tabasco sauce. This is what I've been into lately. Alright, so I wanted to show you guys how I'm tracking this. So you guys can see here, my actual goal for the day is 2,000 calories. So far I've had 493 calories worth of food. Now I don't log the exercise into my fitness pal because it's going to tweak and adjust what I have to eat for the day. And I've already accounted for that in my macros calculation. So you can see here for the first meal, I have the organic beef hot dogs. There were two of them. I had six ounces of my brown rice organic from Trader Joe's, one teaspoon of olive oil. I had five spears of asparagus, one cup of spinach, and 22 grams of my Gage Life Collagen Supplement. So I have 1500 calories remaining and I wanted to show you guys what my macro goals are. My protein goal, I've set it at 150 grams of protein per day. I'm at 225 grams of carbs. My goal for fiber is 25 grams of fiber. Um, that sugar goal, I did not set that. I think that's a little high. Um, I really want to stick to getting 10% of my daily carbs from sugar and my fats. I have my fats here at 56, but I think I might round that up to 60 for the day. So I'm at 2,000 calories, you guys. I'm at maintenance, but I am trying to do a little bit of body recomposition. So that is where I'm at goals-wise, and I'm going to continue to track throughout the day here. Now, if you want to know what your macros should be, check out my free macros blueprint, you guys. Don't miss out on this special offer where I show you how to do all of this for free. And guys, as you can see, I'm eating 2,000 calories a day. You don't have to be in a deficit forever. And I'm just at a point where I need to just stabilize my health and focus on body recomposition right now. As you can see, I just blended my collagen in here, and like I said, I like to top it off with hot water because I don't like it very strong unless like I have cream in it and kind of stay away from that for now. Guys, I legit have not had any struggles hitting my protein macros ever since, especially I started supplementing with this collagen. I'm already on my second tub. But guys, today I already got, you know, 40 grams of protein just from my coffee. So it's just been such a convenient relief to not have to worry too much about that. And there's no carbs, no fat. So it's just straight protein and coffee, which is just absolutely amazing. Because I'm doing a full day of eating video, I was like, I should really do some like fancy recipes and complicated stuff and stuff that's like really cool and interesting. But I'm like, you know what? I gotta keep it simple. I don't have any time to be like looking for weird ingredients and I'm sure you guys don't either. So I'm just gonna show you guys for real, for real, what I would like really eat <laughs> in a day. So, I am making some salmon. It's my favorite protein source if you guys have watched my videos. And let's see here. Just gonna keep it simple, easy breezy. Make some Italian seasoning. Touch of paprika. So I'm gonna take this, put it in the oven. Uh, I have my oven set at 380, so I'll probably have it in there for about 30, 35 minutes and I'm gonna check it. So while that's cooking, I'm actually gonna have a snack because I'm hungry and I have enough carbs in my day. So I'm snacking on more carby style food. So I got an apple here, I'm gonna log this into my fitness pal. I'll probably prep some other foods as well. I'm defrosting some chicken thighs, which I'll probably do to have leftovers for tomorrow, but I'm logging this as well. So this is a snack I'm gonna eat. All right guys, so this salmon has been in the oven for about 30 minutes or so. 
and there's going to be one last step before I finish it and I'm going to broil it. So you can see that there's two nice pieces of salmon here and I'm making some for myself, some for my family. So on mine, I'm going to put some lemon slices to add some flavor without adding extra calories. For my family, I'm putting some Parmesan cheese that I'm going to broil on top of this piece right here. And this is a real simple way you can keep on track with your goals while making sure those in your household are still enjoying their meals as well. So I'm going to set the oven to broil. You guys can see what it looks like. That's just some Parmesan cheese and just some lemon. Now, could I put Parmesan on mine as well? Yes, I could, but I wanna save my fat macros for some other stuff in my day. But I'm gonna put the oven to broil and I'm just gonna watch it closely and I'll show you guys the finished product. All right, guys, I wish you could smell how good this is. So here is the Parmesan salmon on this side. And this is the lemon herb salmon. I'll show you guys how I plate it up, but very, very simple. Didn't have to do a whole lot. Yeah, my, it's my favorite protein source. All right guys, so I wanna talk about my lunch here. So I have salmon and I steamed some Brussels sprouts and mushrooms together. It's a lot of volume of veggies, keeps me really full. And I didn't use any oils in preparing the veggies. So that's why I selected a fattier cut of protein. It really helps me keep my macros in balance. I still have like the lemon slices in here that I'm gonna eat. I have cooked white rice here. If you guys noticed when I was cooking the veggies, I put three tablespoons of water and then there's a touch of soy sauce, but this is, can you focus for me camera? But yeah, really awesome, delicious meal here. And I am using a smaller plate so that feels like more food than it is. And again, I'm going to season with Tabasco sauce. Tabasco, cause that's what I've been into lately. All right, so last meal of the day here is leftovers. So I have a leftover piece of salmon from what I cooked earlier. I have my rice portioned out. Just put a ton of spinach, it's gonna cook down. It's not really pretty, but after this, I'm gonna have a little bit of extra carbs and a little bit of extra protein left to make up for the rest of my macros in the day. So what I'll end up doing is I'll most likely have a protein shake or some collagen in my tea, and I'm gonna wind down with some tea. I'll show you guys how I do that. Finish off my dinner here for my main macros and show you guys the rest of how I end the day. All right guys, so this is my evening routine. I am having some Tezo green tea. This is green ginger. This is one of my favorite flavors of green tea. But what I'm doing is I'm actually going to mix it with one of these products that I've been taking. I'm actually gonna try this new flavor by Soul CBD. This is a CBD supplement and I have been taking this with my tea. I've been taking it sporadically actually because I just got restocked, but they have a new flavor called watermelon mint, which I'm really excited to try here live in front of you guys. This, you can get this on mysoulcbd.com, promo code GAUGEGIRL to save extra on this. Let me just prepare this here. And one product, you guys, yes, I am sponsored by my Soul CBD, but I have to tell you guys, if I wasn't sponsored, I highly, highly, highly recommend the CBD pain cream. I know it has nothing to do with tea, but I rub this on my temples, I rub this on my shoulders, my joints when I'm feeling sore, and I really haven't needed this a whole lot since I've been supplementing with collagen. But if you have migraines, if you just need immediate relief, you'd be surprised. Even if you're hungover, guys, this is a game changer. Please go get yourself some of this. I'm gonna make up the rest of my macros. I'm a little short today on my carbs. 
thing is I didn't weight train today so that's not that big a deal and again these are just my targets I have for myself so I know I can go up to 225 grams of carbs but I'm around like 150 right now so I need more so now I'm gonna just put a couple drops of the CBD stuff in here so if you're gonna go light on any of your macros go lighter on your carbs Make sure you always hit your protein. Try to hit your fat. Oh my gosh, you guys, this smells so good. Just wind down here for the evening. And I have these bananas here, so I might have an extra banana just because I still need to hit some protein macros. But I hope you guys enjoyed this full day of eating. And don't forget to check out your Gage Life supplements. This is my new protein line. This is available on gagelife.com. For all your protein needs, guys, thanks for watching. See you on the next one. Comment below what you want to see on my next YouTube video.